I have just received a package with my new Zoe DQ001 LCR meter. Let's unwrap it and see what's inside. It's hard to do with one hand, of course. And Slightly mangled. And what we have? Yes, the additional Kelvin connectors. Optional. This is the Kuhn 01, so it's the basic model without uh, battery internal uh, resistance material. It's in the pouch like other Zoe meters and scope meters. I think it's almost the same or even the same external shell. Yes, it looks like it looks exactly like um, their scope meters. The plastic separator, the thing which is missing on the promotional video uh, where they are using just torn pieces of a cardboard. You have to put it here if you want to use wires. If you are using uh, in-place connectors then no need for that, obviously. Looking at the weight, it has batteries. Yeah. Okay, so it seems seems to work. Okay, I'm back with a different scene. Uh, I have prepared some capacitors, some inductors, and resistor box. So let's start with resistors. Function R. I think this will. Sorry, I think this will fit good enough into the connectors, everything is gold plated. So let's start with 10 ohms. Ohms. Nice. One kilo ohm. Ten kilo ohms. Hundred kilo ohms. And one mega. Okay. So let's take some capacitors. Mode capacitor. Okay. So let's connect a capacitor. It's 100 nanofarad capacitor. I think we could measure different parameters. And we can measure it also on different frequencies. Ten, that was 1 kHz, now we had 10 kHz. 
and a hundred kilohertz. Then we are back to hundred hertz, hundred twenty, one kilohertz. Okay, so let's check something different. This is also capacitor. Sorry for my camera operation, I'm not very experienced. Well, it was supposed to be 33 nanofarad, but I think it's well, it's good enough. I don't know the tolerance of this capacitor. Here is one microfarad. Upside down. Let's try to connect it with the Kelvin connectors. Oops. Okay, and it's almost one microfarad. This is, I think, also one micro. Yeah. One micro, and let's see some inductors. It's supposed to be uh, 330 micro Henry and it is. We can additionally measure the impedance, phase angle, and the resistance. And Q and D parameters. This is ten times smaller. Thirty. It's supposed to be thirty-three. It's thirty micro Henry. So this is, should be a hundred. One o one. So it's. 10 times 10 to 1 and it is okay maybe one more this is 10 micro henry they are not very precise but I think the measurements are good enough well, I haven't peeled out, the, peeled off the screen protector, so it's obligatory point of every unboxing video. So let's do it. Okay, right. The lightning condition aren't perfect, but I don't have a professional studio. I'm not a professional YouTuber, but so far no one else have recorded any video on this meter, so I think it's worth to record it. Mm. 
mode auto serial parallel this one we know this one we know speed no idea that's the refresh speed so slow probably the slower the more accurate level O1 volts, O3 volts and O6 volts and this was default. Probably if I hold this there is some kind of setup. Yes. There is some calibration, timer, brightness. Do we have anything more? No. Okay, we have also hold and recall or record, don't know, and the relative mode, also the tolerance, so a pass fail test. Okay, I haven't read the manual yet, so I may be wrong, sorry. The manual is like in every Zoe Zotec device. This meter is not even yet present on the Zotec uh, website, but it's available for purchase on AliExpress since like three weeks, but no one so far have recorded any video with it, any review. So I hope this short, let's say, pseudo review may be helpful for someone and that's all I may also compare it uh, to the scope meter if I manage to open it with my left hand which is not easy sorry I'm not looking through the camera that's why Sometimes I'm, I forget to point the camera in the right direction. So as you can see, the case is the same. Actually, the display is slightly smaller. It's the same display. Uh, it was used in the Z ZT 72s, uh, 702 S model. ropes weren't pushed to the to the end so that's why maybe the measurements way were slightly unstable not nevertheless they were correct maybe one more cut with an electrolytic capacitor previously I haven't inserted this plastic isolator but that's not a big deal actually it improves accuracy because without it it's like the regular leads the uh, current and potential uh, connectors are shorted at, at this level so um, I haven't made any use of the Kelvin connectors in fact without this without this plastic insert but it was working anyway Okay, so there is an additional mode for electrolytic capacitors, so let's try it. I have here 100 microfarad capacitor, so let's try to connect it. No way I would 
do this looking in the camera. Okay, I can switch to the to the resistance measurement. Yes, sir. Q X V R. So, as we can see, this is really nice capacitor. Let's change the frequency. It's low ESR capacitor, so it should handle well also higher frequencies. And it does, but of course it lost its capacity. So for 100 Hz is 100 microfarad, 120 also, 1 kHz still. For 10 kHz its capacitance slightly rise, but at 100 kHz it's almost not acting as a capacitor. Okay. So let's maybe try some other one. Let's take something bigger. 1800 or 1800 microfarad. And let's try to measure it. Slightly over, but I think that's fine. That's a realistic result. Again, let's try different frequencies. Ten kilohertz, hundred kilohertz, and again back to hundred hertz. Sorry for the light. Okay. Okay. I think that will be it for this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.